This is your Weather Extreme video for Monday, December the 29th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the sky cam from Gadsden and looks a bit uh, foggy and dreary. Most of the rain has moved out of uh, central Alabama, but there's still a little bit of uh, sprinkles in the eastern central section. And there's a look at the Tuscaloosa sky cam. We're going to have clouds sticking around today. The weather system that brought us a very wet uh, pattern has moved a little bit to the east, and uh, we're seeing uh, the results of the atmosphere drying out somewhat. But in the upper atmosphere, we are uh, carving out a bit of a long wave trough position over the uh, eastern half of the country. And while that uh, is a cool look, it is not an especially cold look for the next uh, few days as we actually cool down. We'll stay a little below seasonal values. You can take a look at uh, the current temperatures across the vast United States and you can see that uh, it's really chilly up there in the central in the north central United States with some negative values but that cold air is going to stay a little to our north so uh, while we will cool down we don't get especially cold temperatures across central Alabama this morning um, have dipped down into about the upper 40s for most locations and uh, we expect to see highs climb into the uh, mid and upper 50s for today. As I mentioned, the, much of the rain has moved out, and we may see some more drizzle or some very light sprinkles through the morning and into the early afternoon, but the uh, significant rain has moved out. And the next shot of rain doesn't come until the uh, 2nd and 3rd of January, and it, like, it looks like it could be another rather wet system like we just experienced. Storm Prediction Center is not out looking any uh, organized severe thunderstorms forecast for the next three days. All right, the 06 EGFS model run this morning, and there goes the weather system, but you notice uh, using the 540 line as a demarcation point, you can see the cold air stays well to our north. In the upper atmosphere, uh, we almost go uh, zonal with slight troughiness over the eastern half of the country, but there's a, a system digging into the Four Corners area so that uh, you see that beginning to dig in on Tuesday. Uh, but we are definitely zonal by Tuesday, and so the weather system is out and uh, the cold air is still well to our north. For Wednesday, that uh, system digs in uh, to the southwestern United States and closes off, and it will stay there for a couple of days. There's the first. It's uh, still into the vicinity of the Four Corners, and then it begins to start to kick out on the second, and that puts us once again into the uh, area where we're tapping into a good Pacific moisture, and gradually, slowly but surely, we see moisture levels come back up, so it looks like by the latter half of the day on Friday, probably into the afternoon hours, we will be seeing some rain uh, across the area once again. For Saturday, it looks like that trough uh, begins to kick out, eject out to the east and northeast, and it begins to weaken as it does, but that will keep us in a rather wet pattern for uh, the day on Saturday with uh, periods of rain. And then the system finally uh, moves by on Sunday, so that should bring an end to the rain as, uh, as that uh, upper-level system moves off. But once again, the cold air is staying well to our north, so while we'll be cool, we won't be especially cold. And by the time we get out to the 6th, uh, Tuesday, we see that another trough is moving in, so we're verging, or we're out into voodoo country here. And then uh, the pattern goes, uh, we stay active. Notice there's a number of shortwave troughs. There's one, uh, you know, over the eastern Great Lakes. There's one coming through uh, just off the east coast or the eastern slope of the Rockies. And another one back over the northwest United States. So the pattern stays pretty active, but no a high amplitude to the flow, so we're not going to see any extremely cold air. And then by the time we get out to 372 hours, it looks like a little bit of ridging going on across the eastern half of the country, so that would keep us somewhat mild. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to post another one uh, tomorrow morning, but I'm going to be in Pasadena, California. And with the two-hour time difference, I'm not sure it'll be early in the morning. So uh, just watch for it. It'll, it'll show up here. Have a great day and Godspeed.